I hope you got lots of rest yesterday. I did. Because we are going to meet another amazing kid today. Yes. Yeah. So today we are going to meet Abby. Oh. Abby is 10, actually Abby is 10, almost 11. It's very important. Yeah. She lives with her family. Um, she is very into celebrities, particularly Chris Hemsworth. Oh my God, me too. Yeah, and I heard she's also very into like beauty and fashion. Great. Yeah, so I think we're going to have a ton of fun with her today. Yes, uh, this sounds right up my alley. Same, So Hard same. Uh, did you pack the box? The box is ready and loaded. Okay, but are there snakes in the box? I don't know what you're talking about. Spencer stares at Nadine skeptically. You're paranoid, man. Should I just come pick you up? Get over here. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Everybody curious. Spencer propels his manual wheelchair through a parking lot. Nadine walks beside him, carrying the box. It is cold today. Yeah. Okay, wait, I want to show you something. I love when there's a big parking lot. Ready? All right. He pops a wheelie and spins. You got insurance for that thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get inside. Yes. I am freezing. Abby waits in an apartment. Guess what? What? I think Nadine and Spencer are here. <gasps> okay. Yeah, so do you want to go meet them at the elevator? Yes. Would you like me to go with you? No, I'll be fine. You'll be fine? Okay. Perfect. I'll open the door for you. You can go. Abby's mom opens the door. Wearing a colorful t-shirt, Abby pushes her pink and blue manual wheelchair down the hall. She waits at the elevators. <gasps> Hi, Abby. Hi. How are Hi. you? Good. Good, We're I'm gonna so sneak excited by to you. hang out with you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Abby, I love that you live in an apartment. Everything's yeah. so accessible. Yep. I got a new wheelchair. That's a new wheelchair? Yep. Well, no wonder it looks so nice and pristine. Now, do you get to pick out the colors and things? Yep. Oh, nice. Custom. That's yep. awesome. We're here. Abby's mom opens the door. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> Come on in. Here we go. Thank you for having us. Yeah. No problem. All right. I'll Is it OK if here. I uh, drop the box over there? Yeah, anywhere you would like. OK. Abby. Your couch is so good. He finds a magazine. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> Take a look at that. Okay, let me see. <gasps> All right, you know what? I'm not mad at this. No. I'm not mad at no. it. No, Abby. Check it out. A photo of a shirtless man. Do you like Chris Hemsworth? Oh, yes. Yes. I totally have a crush on Chris Hemsworth. Me too. You do? You do? Yeah. Oh, my oh, gosh. Okay. What do you like about him? He's handsome. <laughs> And he's, he's and, he, and he's seen a lot of movies. Yeah. Is there one that you really like of his movies? Uh, I don't know a lot of. I really like, um, I'm a comic book fan, yeah. so Thor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but Thor with the long hair or Thor with the short hair? Oh, short. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once again, I'm the minority. I like the long. Abby, is there any musicians or anybody that you have a crush on? Okay. I'm ready. Harry Styles. Yes! I mean... Just all the cries inside the time. Yes! That makes sense. And I love that he challenges the, the binary of clothing from a male to female, which I yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, I love that he just wears all kinds of different things. Yeah. Um, and looks fierce exactly. and fly in all of them. Exactly. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. There is someone that I have a crush on. His name is uh, Niall DeMarco. Do you know Niall DeMarco? Uh, no. He was in America's Next Top Model, um, and then he's gone on to do some acting, but he's also disabled. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. He's deaf and he, he's gorgeous. But I really, I feel like so often when we see celebrities, they're mm -hmm. always able-bodied people. Yeah, yeah and like, true. And like, I wish we saw more disabled folks. Like, do you have, do you have any crushes or know any disabled celebrities? No. And that's the problem, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, there are some like funny, hot, talented, disabled people out there. So I would like to see more of folks like myself and maybe folks like you, Abby, that are just as hot in a magazine like this too, you know? Maybe with Chris Hemsworth and Harry Styles. Yeah. Oh, oh that would be, be good. That would be good. Right? <laughs> what are some cool things about you? Yeah. Um, what do you like about you? Yeah. That I'm nice, kind, smart, have a great attitude. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. 
And I very much got that vibe from you mm -hmm. <laughs> when we met, for yeah. sure. And yeah, are there things you like about your body? Uh, a lot of things. Okay, hit me up. Uh, face. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. Yes. Eyes. Yes. You your have eyes. gorgeous eyes. Yeah. I yeah. love them. There's another thing. Tell uh, me. Character. Like, they're subtle. Yeah. Like sort of their personality yeah. and things like that. Yeah. You have a lot of great things about you. You really yeah. do. So, I mean, who knows? One day we might see Abby in a magazine. Yeah. And yes. then we'll be talking to someone else being like, who's your crush? And they'll be like, it's Abby. Abby. She's amazing. Yeah. She's great character, great eyes, great face, great hair. Celebrity crushes, super fun, and there were some like people out there who were really fascinating and interesting, mm -hmm. and that's great, and it can be really fun, as long as we also remember that like we're flying awesome too, even if we're not in the magazines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, I love that. Can we high five this? Yes. Yes. You hit it. High five. Great. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. What's in the box? They sit on the floor. All right, so you're right. let's let's open the box. Let's yeah. look inside. They find two okay, dolls. So you found our everybody curious friends. Uh, this is Ginger and this is Blue. Oh, we're okay. Over they're that. not part of this. Okay, but... Got some jelly beans. Oh, what is this? <gasps> no, no, we're not. We're not doing this Spencer, here. It's just we're jelly not beans. doing it's, this here. It's jelly beans. <laughs> I know what's in there. You're. It's the, just jelly beans. Are you, how do you know? The last few times she opened this, snakes come flying out. I get scared. I'm half crying by the end. Okay. No, 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 no. Nadine opens the lid and eats. What? <laughs> are there actual jelly beans in there today? I told you it's jelly beans. I don't even know what your problem is. We're, just give me these. Here we go. Spencer snacks. You can help me unpack the rest of this, Abby. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Nadine pulls out a display box. Oh, what we got? What is this? And uh, I think this is part of it too. Ooh! They view nail polish samples. Yeah. Look at all these colors. Y'all up for some manicures? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How about we set this up and uh, you can do our nails. Okay. So, what do you love about you can put those doing in. Doing manicures. It's fun. Takes my mind off of different things. Oh, nice, yeah. It's interesting how sometimes doing things to our bodies, especially when we're doing nice things for our bodies, can like change the way our minds feel as well. Mm -hmm. What color do you think we should do for Spencer? Yeah. You're the expert here. This one. That one, yes. I like that. Here, I really let's like... hold it up. Let's hold it up to my sweater and let's look. What do we think? It's blue. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice, isn't it? So in color theory, blue is a complement to yellow. So that's a perfect pick. And then, okay, which one, what what, what are you gonna do for me? Yeah, what should we do for Nadine? Hmm, this peach. Yes, oh, okay. okay, that kind of like peachy coral is one of my favorite colors ever. Yeah. And what are you gonna pick for yourself? Yeah. Hmm. The thing about your outfit is you could go with anything on yeah, that palette pretty much. and be golden. Ooh, it's gonna work. I'm gonna do a lot of shiny ones. Amazing. Like all right, so this is all set up. Now let's uh, do our manicures because we deserve to do nice things for our bodies because our bodies are awesome. That's right. Okay, let's do it. I'll bring the jelly beans. <laughs> At the table. All right, Abby, let's do this. All yes, right. I love that color. When did you learn how to do this? Um, a few weeks ago. <laughs> okay, perfect. Abby carefully paints each nail on his right hand. That's all. Yeah. Look at this. Look at your work. Well done. <laughs> well done. Do you want to do this second hand? Sure. Hey, great. Yeah. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah. She paints the nails on his left hand. Okay, hang it's on. I'm gonna school. turn this way just a smidge so I can give <laughs> you a It's a girly thumb. girl thing. What is? The nails. Boys can wear nail polish. Do you know who wears nail polish all the time? Huh? Harry Styles. I know. Yeah. Abby carefully touches up the nail polish. Oh my God, Abby, thank you. These look amazing. Do you think this is a career path for you? Would you like to be a nail, a nail tech? Yeah. You would. Anything else in the beauty industry or just nails? Hair. What, do you think you could do something with my hair? He motions to his shaved head. <laughs> would, you, would you do like all the things? Like, and makeup. Like Abby's full makeover service. Yeah, and her beauty. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. So then 
you could be in the celebrity magazine not only as a celebrity but also as like a, a stylist to the stars yeah so when people they see people they're like abby did this this look by abby you like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> really good great well i think your next client is waiting okay and she can be very impatient so it's probably best that i like get out of the way okay thank you so much You're i'll welcome. leave the tip at the at the front and um this has been so lovely okay okay <laughs> Abby paints Nadine's nails. So, um, first of all, can I say I love the color combo you picked for me, red and gold. Yep. Okay, I already feel like you know me really well. Yeah. And I heard you saying to Spencer just now that you are interested in maybe having your own business where this might be part yeah. of it. I love that because, you know what? I also have my own business. So, something that I do is I use social media mm -hmm. to let people know about me and my work. Mm -hmm. Is that something you think you might be interested in doing someday? Yeah. Yeah? So I think that in addition to seeing your work, people would probably want to see a little bit of you as a person, because as you were saying before, you're kind of a super rad person. Mm -hmm. And they'd want to know like about the real Abby. So if you were going to sort of share the real you on social media, what are some things you think you might want to share in addition to your amazing My business. Work, in addition to your business. Um, do you think you would want to show any other parts of your life? Maybe how to do a makeup tutorial. Yeah, because that's a big part of your life, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we'll have makeup tutorials, outfit tutorials, or how to put together an outfit. A fancy outfit. A fancy outfit, okay. Um, would you ever show any other parts of you or yourself or your life? Um, Maybe have like a house tour. A house tour, nice. Um, would you ever show anything like, you have your really beautiful wheelchair, would you ever show that or anything? Mm, no. No, that's fair. I don't show every part of me or my life or my body either. So yeah, you just yeah. get to choose whatever you want. Well, I love this and I'm gonna ask you, cause I always like to ask people before I post anything about somebody else. Mm -hmm. If you say yes, that's great, but you know what? If you say no, that's totally fine also, because I want to make sure that you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how would you feel if I posted a picture of my nails that you did? I'll be fine. You'll be fine with that? Yeah. Okay. If you decide you're not fine, or you decide later on that you change your mind, you just let me know, okay? Uh, okay, so I thought it would be fun if we maybe did your nails, Ooh. and we're gonna, we're gonna go to a school. Okay. And this is my combo beautician school slash sex ed school. Yep. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna do your nails because you did such a good job on yes. our nails. And I'm gonna give you two, like just a little bit of a pop quiz. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, okay, so here Spencer, okay. why don't you start with the white? Okay. Oh God, please do good. Yeah. Oh, don't you worry. It's gonna look good. First question, what is it called when people are at a time of life where their body is sort of changing from... Puberty. She got it, nailed it. <laughs> I was gonna say, when your body is changing from a kid's body into a an human adult body. Adult. Into a human adult, exactly, 100%. yes. Let me see, what's another good question? What is a normal age for someone to start growing breasts? 20. 12? Well, <laughs> you're kind of both right, and you're kind of both wrong. Okay. It's kind of a trick question, so don't feel bad. Okay. The real answer is that there is no normal age. It happens when it happens. It could start at 12, it could start at nine. For some people, it might start at 20. Another interesting thing about breasts is that they might start to grow and then stop for a while and then grow some more later on. Okay. And they actually change size and shape throughout our lives. So they're just always changing if you if you have them, but not everybody has them. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now let's see, can can you guys see if you can stump me? See if you can stump me. Oh. You can ask me a question about like bodies or babies or relationships or anything. Cause I may be a sex educator, but I don't know everything. So does everybody go through puberty? Does everybody go through puberty? I have the answer. What's your answer? No, not some people though. You're right. Because actually. I can't. 
Yeah, some people's bodies don't go through that physical transition in the same way. Um, and it's just because their bodies are just sort of built a little differently or their hormones are a little different. So they may not, you know, go through all of those like physical changes. Um, mm -hmm. Some folks who are intersex won't go through puberty the way we recognize puberty. In terms of physical changes, they still have like emotional changes mm -hmm. and uh, what we call social changes. Do you know what social changes are, Abby? No. Social changes are just that as we grow and change in our lives, we might like to do different things. Do you think there might be things that might be different for you as you get older? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? I don't know. There's a lot of things that could change. You're right. There are a lot of things that you could change. And it's okay if you don't know right now what you want those to be. That's kind of one of the fun things about growing older is you kind of get to discover as it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of like this format. What do you guys think? Should I have more of these? Yeah. Yes. When I do my work, should I introduce like like sex ed plus manicures? Yes. yes. Sex ed quid plus manicures. Okay, it's gonna be a thing. Yes. Um, and Abby, when you get older, maybe we could do it together. Like yes. I'll do the sex ed, you do the manicure? Yes. Okay, dope. Tips for picks. They hold Ginger and Blue, the everybody curious dolls. Abby is not on social media yet, but she's thinking that sometime in the future, when she gets her business up and running, that social media is something that she might like to use yes. as a way to promote her business. Yes. So I just thought it would be a great idea if we sort of explored some of Ginger and Blue's tips for posting pics online. Absolutely. All right. So I think Ginger's first tip would be Ginger's mom is online. And so mm. if Ginger wouldn't want their mom to see it, then they probably shouldn't post it. So that would be my first tip. That's also Ginger and I are aligned because my mom's on social media and she would be so embarrassed if I posted something like topless, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, one of my rules, which is one of my personal rules, is I always like to have clothes on when I post pictures. That's how I like to show myself. Blue, on the other hand, just asked me to take a selfie with them. And Blue, you're not wearing any clothes. <laughs> Is that a choice that you want to make right now? Uh, that's a no for Ginger. Okay, and Blue? And no for Blue. No for Blue. Um, well then y'all are gonna have to do something about it. He whips out doll clothes. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got everything under control. Are you sure though? I, I'm not ever sure. <laughs> So, Ginger, <laughs> let's, uh, start to... Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> I see what's happening. I like that. Abby, do you want to help me with this one? Sure. Here. Lou needs a little more assistant. Yeah. There we go. He has a beard now. He does have a beard. <laughs> there, now that's handsome. Well done. All right, they're covered up. Okay. They're ready for their close-up. I think we all are. I think we need a group selfie. I yes, love that. We do. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. They get in close and smile as Nadine takes the selfie. A montage shows a series of photos with the dolls. Nadine shows off her gold and red painted nails. Abby hugs Blue. Spencer poses with an infant doll that's wearing glasses to match his. They try out different expressions, posing and grinning for the camera. Later, Spencer video calls Nadine. Oh my gosh, today was so fun. I mean, did we have the best time? Uh, the best. Not only did we get to look at Chris Hemsworth, yum, but we also had a lovely chat about not only just celebrities, but why don't we see more celebrities with disabilities and idolizing those kind of folks as well. And what I think is so great about Abby is I think she has a really wonderful balance between being able to enjoy celebrity crushes, but also she has a really great positive self-concept as well, which is, I just love to see it. I love it. Absolutely. And let's not forget that while I was there, I became a dad. Congratulations. <laughs> I see the family resemblance. Well, since you are now a parent, you're going to need lots of rest, so I'm going to let you go. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Want to learn more about today's topic from our experts? Visit everybodycurious.com, or if you would like to learn more about how to become a sex educator, check me out at nadinethornhill.com. Or follow us on Instagram at Everybody Curious. And if you want updates on me and my son, you can follow me at Spencer to the West. Spencer puts the doll up close to the camera. Everybody Curious. Abby, this box came for you. Okay. Abby opens the box and finds toys. In it. 
Oh my goodness! Wow! There's so many! Colorful Go Pop fidget toys. There's so many to choose from. So creative. Yeah, that's, those have loud pops in that one, eh? Yeah. Pop three purple and two green. How many did you pop all together? That's so cool. You can do a game on this one. That is mm -hmm. so neat. Yeah. I didn't know they had a game. Yeah, I only just played with them. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. You're going to have so much fun with this stuff. Yeah, oh, I am. Oh, there's a purple one, too. <gasps> there's so many colors. I know. Which color? It's this one. Yeah. You want to open that one? Yeah. Okay, let's open that one. And then we're going to start popping them, okay? Abby plays with a blue one. Almost got it. There. Oh, that's cool. I heard of these. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Oh, my God. She finds mini ones. There's so many. Wow. I can play with three of them at the same time. Thank you, Fox Mind Canada Limited. Created by Louise Pollard. Written and directed by Kim Harris. Hosts and creative consultants, Nadine Thornhill, Spencer West. Cast member, Abby G. Dolls, Ginger and Blue. Created by Nell Coleman. Production manager, Shermaine Samarasing. Director of photography, Naomi Wise. Production design, set decoration, Louise Pollard. Animations by Dan Drobik. Sound mixer, Chad Hunt. EBC experts, B. Gaiman, Catherine McLaughlin, Andrew Gerza, Amy Lang, M.A. Executive producer and producer, Louise Pollard. Special thanks. Agnes Augustine, Shaw Rocket Fund, Craig Milne Sim, Steve Hancock, MBSE, Holland Bloorview, Abby's Family, James, Dan, Tess, and Stella, Scott, and everyone at Shaftesbury, Dr. Paige Church, Dr. Miriam Kaufman, Shauna Bedwin, Steph and Mel Salon Goulart, Go Pop and Pop It games generously supplied by Fox Mind. Produced with the financial participation of the Shaw Rocket Fund, funded by the Government of Canada. Louise Pollard, EverybodyCurious.com.